Hello, this is Parker 51 Guy again with another video on restoring vintage fountain pens. Uh, I'm fresh back from this previous weekend's Ohio Pen Show, and uh, I have to say I really enjoyed the show and uh, had a good time. And I also found some really interesting finds, and one of them, which was a fairly good deal, was this Burgundy Wherever Lever Filler. Um, this pen needs to have a new ink sac installed and I am going to show you how you can do this rather simply. Um, I know that this isn't going to be as complicated as some lever repairs could be because I checked already and the lever mechanism and presser bar are all in good condition and fully functional. So we're going to jump right into doing our repair. Um, first thing you're going to need is your sack. This is a rubber number 18 and um, that's going to be what holds the ink in the pen when you fill it with the lever mechanism which this one operates. It's a single stroke down and then you release the lever with the point in the ink and the sack after it's been deflated by pressing the lever down, when the lever goes up, it will open up and inflate and draw ink into the pen. Uh, this first thing you would want to do with one of these is to loosen the section from the barrel. I'm not going to go into the specifics of that. I've got plenty of other videos that deal with using heat from a heat gun or some other heat source. If you only have a, a hair dryer, that'll work, but you just need to be very aware of the temperature that you're going to have the pen exposed to and be careful that you don't melt it. Uh, this pen I already applied heat to and gently working out the section from the barrel. This is where you're going to attach the sack over the sack nipple on the section. Inside the body of the pen here uh, I used a small LED light to look in there and <clears throat> the uh, brass of the uh, presser bar and everything is in very good shape and so uh, after having brushed that out with a dry bottle brush to get any um, residue that was left inside cleaned out I can say that that's ready to go. Now what you want to do with this is you need to measure the length of the sack by inserting it until it reaches the back of the barrel. Then you'll want to mark off with your thumbnail approximately the end where it was at the edge of the barrel. Then you can take the section and you're going to need to discount the distance that this section goes into the barrel from the length of the sack and and that's going to be cut off in addition to what was sticking out of the barrel so what you want to do is you want to mark off right about there because that other part part needs to go over the um, the nipple and still maintain the maximum amount of capacity volume for ink so I'm going to get a razor knife cut that off and I'll be right back okay back and now the sack has been trimmed to the correct length um, what you're going to need to do here is get a little uh, shellac and I actually just use a um, I'm mixing it right now with the end of a uh, well-worn uh, chopstick. As you can see, it's coated with quite a bit of shellac. And I'm just going to use a broken-off toothpick to swab the uh, ink on there. Or sorry, not ink. Yeah, right. Shellac onto the um, sack nipple, which I've cleaned off uh, and scraped clean. And um, I'm going to use a little tool here. These are some sack spreaders. Uh, you can make one from a coat hanger. 
bend it into shape. There's online resources, uh, handmade tools, and fountain pen repair on Google will probably bring you up uh, quite a few uh, links. What it's going to do is it's going to stretch out the opening on there to allow it to fit over there and then um, just uh, finish pushing it down onto there and um, that will be coated with the shellac before I do that so put enough on there to get a really decent coverage and just spread it around at the very tip of the uh, sack nipple So we've got that. Take the sack spreader, open that up, and then, uh, well, I'm a little bit uh, ham fisted here. Get it to go over. And then what you want to do is just give it a turn to make sure that the shellac fully coats the inside and uh, you can also kind of spread out that little extra bit around there to get full coverage. I'm also going to take a little bit of paper towel and kind of uh, wipe off any excess around the uh, section that's going to go into the barrel. So now we've got that. Now the next step is going to be using either talc, 100% pure talc, or I use graphite powdered lubricant because I feel that it's uh, not going to be a home to uh, little microorganisms and things that might grow in there and mold and so forth and um, probably last longer and stay cleaner what you're going to do is you're going to take some people put the talc into a like a shallow container to dip into and I'm going to take the sack and just kind of roll it around and use a uh, small brush to spread it onto the outside of the sack all the way along the length to ease its passage into the barrel make sure there's no snags and so forth on the uh, pressure bar in there and in the meantime here I'm actually going to pause to allow this shellac to dry for I would probably say you'd want it to dry yeah, a half hour just to be sure and in fact while I was doing that it actually um, ended up sliding off the uh, nipple there so I'm going to set that aside and let it dry to ensure that it's airtight I'll be right back alright so I'm back and the uh, sack has uh, dried with the shellac and I'm going to insert it back into the um, barrel so be careful seem to be going in as easily as I expected it to. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I've um, worked at, there was actually some uh, dried remains of a previous sack around, uh, must have uh, 
adhered to the walls of the pen where the uh, sack nipple seats inside and it was binding up but now uh, after I scraped it out and got quite a bit of residue out of there it's um, clear and now I'm going to uh, fit the, feet, the uh, feed and uh, nib back into the um, section to test the uh, air tightness of the sack I'm going to uh, do a fill test with my uh, cup here filled it with water got the uh, section back into the barrel and on a lever filler like this when you pull down pull down on the lever insert the nib up to the section release the lever hold that under water for approximately 20 seconds I would say ought to give you a full fill for this that's enough time and then if you pull the lever back down you can see that it had uh, water come out got a uh, graduated cylinder there to see how much uh, water is in there we can um, empty out the bladder into the cylinder and we're going to get an idea of how much approximately this uh, this pen is drawing up and will hold in ink since some of that's going to remain in there in the feed we're not getting an exact reading but it looks about just shy of one milliliter it's probably about uh, looks like uh, 0.9 so that's a decent amount of fluid capacity and that is a finished replacement on that lever fillers ink uh, sack until next time this is Parker 51 guy I'll see you then